Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Redmond Jr. versus Patterson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Good day. Mr. Redmond, you currently owe more than $10,000 in child support for the defendant's two teenage daughters, LaQuandria Redmond and Kaisha Redmond, who you say are not yours. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Patterson, you say you are 100% certain that both girls are his daughters and you cannot wait to prove the truth today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Redmond, why is it taking you so long to get this issue resolved? Your Honor, over 19 years, I've been taking care of these kids, and, Your Honor, I've been going to jail, and I know for a fact that these kids aren't mine. You say you know for a fact you've you've gone to jail? Yes, ma'am, Your Honor. I've gone to jail because I owe more than $10,000. What is that, sir? This is a... uh, Some from the courts where I owe... Over $10,000 in child support paper. Let me see that paperwork, Drew. So, you all are married. No, ma'am. You're not married. Divorced. Divorced now. Yes, ma'am. So, this is $16,198 in child support that you owe currently. Yes, Your Honor. For child support. Yes, Your Honor. And so, you believe that neither child is your child? No, Your Honor. Ms. Um, Patterson... Yes, Your Honor. Your ex-husband says that he don't think either child is his. You don't believe that. You say they are his children. They are his, ma'am. I never cheated on him. And she's untrustworthy, Your Honor. I've uh, caught her cheating on me uh, numerous amount of times. So, wait, you submitted evidence to the court. Yes, Your Honor. Step forward so I can have you explain this uh, evidence you have in the monitor. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, as you can plainly see, her and her friend was in the bathroom. And he had his pants down. That what? is a lie. When that I walked, is a when lie. When I walked into the bathroom, y'all, and his pants was down, and he quickly tried to pull them up, and that she stood up. That is a lie. What? Yes, Your Honor. That is a is lie. Is it when you all were dating? Yes, Your Honor. Oh. You're saying that's not true? That's not true. So what's Mr. the Mr. Redmond is lying. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, this is a, a picture of uh, me coming home from work, Your Honor, I was... This was when we was married. Your Honor, I rode a bicycle in the cold to go to work. Your Honor, when I got home, it was a tall, dark-skinned man walking out of my apartment. That is not true, Your Ms. Honor. Ms. Patterson, do you that know not... anyone that looks like that? No, Your Honor, I really don't. In his mind, I was with everybody. So you're saying he just constantly accuses you? Yes, ma'am. Also, Your Honor, I placed a secret tape recorder in the air vent at my apartment after I caught her, the dark-skinned fellow coming out of my apartment. I, the, the, the trust was gone. So I put the tape recorder inside the air vent. So that's your tape recorder. You put it in the air vent. Yes, ma'am. So you could record what was going on in, in your house? In the bedroom. Yes, y'all. I heard moaning and groaning. And I heard a man's voice in my room, in my bedroom, where no other man should be at. And we didn't have a television in that bedroom, Your Honor. Ms. Patterson, do yes, you did. remember any of this? I remember the tape recording. Nothing was on it. He played it. The only thing you could hear was, you know, statically. It was just background noise. That was it. No mourning and no groaning. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, I ain't had nothing to mourn and groan with. I mean, he was my husband. <laughs> that was my husband. I never cheated on him. Never. All right, Mr. Redman. You have one more picture. What is this? I went to Miss Patterson's workplace. But at this point in time, at her job, the, the, the front people told me where she was at, how to find her location. I went back there to find the location that they told me to go to. Okay. I observed Ms. Patterson in the bed with another man. Oh, on this top is... Of, on top of the man. Really? Yes, ma'am. Wait, so this is you observing? Yes, ma'am. Did you confront her? I didn't confront her, Your Honor. I was so hurt and discouraged. I walked away, got in my car, and left. Well, what kind of work was she doing in this room? She was a housekeeper. Oh. You were a housekeeper, Miss Patterson? Yes. That's when we first met. I was a housekeeper, Your Honor. And so, have you... Have you had intimate relationships in the room where you were supposed to be working? That was against the rules. I would have lost my job. I... Your Honor, 
I don't know what he's talking about. So, Mr. Redmond, you really believe sh she cheated. All of these inst instances add up to you in your mind that she cheated. Yes, Your Honor. I have one more incident, if you don't mind me telling you. Yes, okay. Uh... You can step back to the podium now. I'll hear it from over there. So, you said you had one more piece of evidence as to why you believe LaQuandria is not your daughter? Yes, ma'am. Okay, tell the court. When I was, uh, when we was in, uh, her hometown, I creeped up on her at her family's house. When I got there, Your Honor, I went round the back, where they usually be, and I observed Miss Patterson drinking beer, s smoking cigarettes, sitting on another man's lap. You thought maybe he could be her father because she was having a relationship with him as well? Yes, ma'am. Were you sitting on another man's lap, Miss Patterson? No, Your Honor. I was not. Why do you think he is just making all of this up? Your Honor, I don't know. To tell you the truth, this is what I used to go through when we was married. So this is basically why the marriage had ended. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. All right, so let's get to the second pregnancy because you all managed to stay married long enough to get pregnant again. Yes, Your Honor. So why do you feel Kaisha is not your child? That's what because I want to understand. Because, Your Honor, I was so furious with Ms. Patterson when we left her hometown, I slept on the couch. I wouldn't even sleep in the bed with her. So you were not sleeping together. We were That's not, Your why Honor. you feel like you're not yes, Kaisha's biological father. That's not father. true, Your Honor. That's not... The reason why he ain't sleeping in the bed, he was never at home. He'll come home when it's time for me to go to work. So why how you gonna, come home how to you a woman gonna, that's how you, gonna sleep, how you gonna sleep in the bed and you too much in the streets? Because I didn't want to look in your face. <laughs> you wouldn't work. You wouldn't I, keep a job. I would work if you knew how to take you care want, of your own and kids. And you want me to you be with small you? small kids, Your Honor. Someone uh, had to be the responsible one to, to feed them and, and put diapers on them. How you been responsible for feeding the kids? You wasn't home. You were never home. Your Honor, I taught my young, my oldest daughter how to walk and party trained them, Your Honor. I was the one who fixed the formula because she didn't know how. So uh, when did he really start denying the, the children? When I left him. When I left him. I left him in 2000. Were you also there for the entire birth while you had this doubt? Were you there for all of the appointments, the birth, everything? Yes, Your Honor. And so at that time, Ms. Patterson, did you believe he doubts my children or were you thinking that you all were just a married couple having children? Yes, Your Honor. That Which we, one? That we was all um, married and, you know, had kids. Do you remember him expressing doubt over paternity during the process? No, Your Honor. I've kept the children out thus Your far Honor, because... She... <sighs> May I say something, Your Honor? No. Um, I kept the children out thus far because I did not want them to hear this testimony. Um and even be more confused uh, like I am, but I would like to hear from them now. Jerome, will you please escort uh, LaQuandria and Kaisha into the courtroom? Yes. Hello, ladies. Hi. Please state your name for the court. You first. Kaisha Redmond. Kaisha. And your name? LaQuandria Redmond. All right. So, we are here today discussing some paternity issues that are affecting your family, mm -hmm. okay? And I wanted to hear from you because the gentleman on the plaintiff's podium, Mr. Redmond, you believe he is your father, right? I mean, yes. That's, that's what you've been told. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and he's here today suggesting that perhaps he is not your biological father. What kind of relationship have you had with Mr. Redmond? Nothing at all. Really? Yes. And you be you've been told this is your father? Yes, I have been told that he was my father, but this is my father right here because she has been here my whole entire life. You... <laughs> and so you have no relationship with Mr. Redmond? Not at all. How about you, Kaisha? No. No, ma'am. None at all? No, ma'am. Even as children, you all don't remember? I remember. I remember. You remember him? I remember him when I was always 
taken to go to his mother's house because he didn't have a house. He's always in and out of my life. He's never done anything for me. And that hurts you? I mean, it did, but then I had to realize again that he's nothing to me. And so I want to hear from you, Kaisha. How has this affected you? I see the tear. Has it hurt you growing up without a father? When we was homeless and we had nothing, we called him and he never gave us nothing when we asked for money or anything. Nothing. And this is a man you've grown up believing is your father. Yeah, I really love him. I really do. Like, that's my twin. But now, as I grew up, I started to know that he ain't nothing. Nothing. His mom is too old to be raising a 40-year-old man. Mr. Redmond, when you see them here in tears, how does that make you feel? Well, actually, Your Honor, I don't recollect me not being there for these kids, and I feel like they're, uh, they're being untruth at the moment. I've been there for those kids. I never left those kids. I, I, my father has thrown them birthday parties. I have bought them gifts. I have done a lot for these kids, Your Honor. Well, do you hear them say that they don't believe you've been there for them? They don't feel your presence in their life. They don't feel your protection. First of all, Your Honor, the kids were kidnapped from me when they were in my custody. She came back and stole the kids from me. She kept them away from me that so that I would not be are. able to have a relationship with these kids. Then I found out when... when Why I, is you when, sitting here lying? Be quiet. My mama ain't never had Kim not us. She the one that signed them birth certificates. You ain't signed nothing. You paid child support one or two times. You think that's gonna do something? It ain't gonna do nothing. You don't help my mama pay bills. You don't help us with anything. I have to come out my pocket and help pay rent. You don't do nothing. Shh. I have to get a second job just to help my mom in the house. Shh. You don't do anything. Shh. Is it because you ain't had no money to pay for no DNA test? Is that because? Teacher. LaQuandria. Teacher. Huh? Teacher. Mr. Redmond, she's speaking to you, crying out to you, really. Where are you? Where were you? Your Honor. You didn't even look over there. You didn't even look her way. How is it you can't even look this young woman in the eye? I mean, this is a, a young girl that could potentially be your biological child, and you're not even looking at her when she's speaking, when she's expressing the deepest part of herself and her emotions and how she feels. Huh. What is going on with you? I, I mean, she's so disrespectful, Your Honor. I had to put up with the, the total disrespect of this young lady for a long time, Your Honor, for being called the B word, M and F in this, I don't care no more. They had to go to her. So, house. do you believe that these are your biological children? No, I do not, Your Honor. Everybody clap. Please. Clap. All right. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to prolong this confusion because what I have is going to alleviate all of this mess because I have the truth. Jerome, the envelope, please. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Redmond versus Patterson, when it comes to Kaisha Redmond, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Redmond, you are the father. <laughs> we both look alike. <laughs> That's your twin. In the case of Redmond versus Patterson, when it comes to LaQuandria Redmond. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Redmond, you are the father. 
Now you need to come over here <laughs> and you need to apologize. Uh, to he, don't, he don't need no, him. No, he need to he apologize. Don't need no, him. seriously, he, he needs did. to apologize. I do apologize. Oh, Thank and, you. And, and, I, I, and, I and, 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 I don't care. I try to have a relationship with them, Your Honor. But they won't, they won't stay around. They say I'm too mean, I'm too strict, I'm too this, I'm too that. Kaisha, is there something you'd like to say to your father? We don't need you no more because we grew without you. Like, I'm sorry to say that. I really love you. I love you too. But I don't need you. I'm sorry. I'm too old, like... I'm a young lady now, and, like, I start to realize I don't need you no more. Well, whenever you feel like you do need me, I'll be there. And I understand that I forgive you, but that's all I have. Like, I'm sorry. This is where we begin. It doesn't have to be where we end. You have a myriad of possibilities in this moment. We can't solve all of this today. So we have counseling and resources for you all. We want you to take advantage of it because we want you all to figure out how to get on the right track. Because Kaisha will say this, you may not feel like you need him now and Laquandra too, but if you have your father living here on this earth and you have an opportunity to know him, I have seen so many young women in your position coming into this courtroom and wish they just had the chance. And whether you take it or you don't, understand how blessed you are in this moment, mm -hmm. that you have this clarity, and he's still here if you'd like to develop that relationship with him. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. <laughs>